and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdo Spirit that's going to kick off our best of one day Monday stream today. We're going to play three different best of one decks. We're going to play seven games each of the three decks and then we have two brawl decks which brawl is also best of one so that's what we got going on for this monday stream here we're going to be playing these three decks in ranked um with best of one it's just it's just easy just to play the decks over in ranked so we're not going to be playing leagues with them um this racto spirit deck you may remember from last tuesday from tuesday bruise day where we tried building around both pestilent spirit which is what i named the deck after and theater of horrors and so we called this deck racto spirit and, and it was just a lot of fun to play and i wanted to play it again and so i thought this would be a good time for it because i think this is probably a, a pretty decent best of one deck we got lots of removal uh for aggro matchups because you, you do see a lot of aggro in a best of one but then we also have some good card advantage and uh and everything for the control decks like you know we have theater of horrors that lets us play a really long game stormfist crusader and Chandra Fire Artisan can get us extra cards as well. And then Carnage is pretty nice attacking the hand there also. Hey, Shankerstone. Thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. So yeah, so that's that's we're gonna we're gonna try this over at best of one. As you can tell, I, I do have a sideboard over here still. Um and I've I've updated the deck a little bit since the last time that we played it, changed a, a couple of things. Um not too much though. Uh, but basically, basically we had 24 lands and we just flooded out all the time and it was kind of sad. So we cut a land and also going with best of one, it's good to cut a land anyway. And with, uh, with one less land, we put in an Angrass Rampage in the main. I didn't have this in here. So a good two mana removal spell to add on with these other two drops. Um, and then I also got rid of, we had, I had four Murderous Rider, two Bedevil, but I, I'm going to switch that up and just go three and three. Cause there was a lot of times like the two life off the Murderous Rider was kind of rough um and so i'm just going to switch those up so i do have a sideboard over here too if you want to play the best if you want to play the deck in best two out of three in regular standard um but we're going to be doing just best of one today no green today as you can see racto spirit it's too much green in standard these days we're going we're going away from green no green today we got Grixis Knights, Mardu Enchantments, Nicol Bolas Brawl is also a Grixis deck, and then Ashiok. I'm going Mono Blue Mill with Ashiok and Brawl. We're going to see how that works out. Hey, Orion. So is this, the, is this a safest time to climb in Platinum? Or do I miss the window where people already climbed and now it's the scrambling folks? I'm not, I'm honestly not exactly sure what that means. But I guess it is the what the twenty eighth. So I guess I gotta make sure I'm in the top twelve hundred before the end of the month, which shouldn't be too too difficult. Um, okay, so I need I need a black source to get to this theater for us, and then everything would be okay, as long as we get to this black source. Yeah, I don't. I mean, maybe there's a, a good amount of people trying to get to the. Um, trying to level up at the end of the season, but I'm not sure how that's that's necessarily a bad thing. So I would say it's like I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't be a safe time to to um, open your heart to, to level up basically. Welcome to the feast. Huh. All right, playing against Oko. Surprise, you surprise. Than a fiend. Unfortunately, I did not draw my black mana. May we meet again. So this or is not. starting to look pretty grim over here. Ooh, no land for them either. That's very good for me. Not sure if they're a counterspell deck. I hope not. Yay. Theater of Horrors is an enchantment. Take that, Oko.
Okay, so I'm going to be playing the Stormfist. Is it even good for me to play Stormfist Crusader? Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't want my opponent getting extra cards. Hmm. I'm gonna play this land here. No, they're they're not they're not a flash deck. This is just like normal like Simic food. It's basically hold up Murderous Rider or play Stormfist Crusader. I'm gonna play Stormfist Crusader. Because while they get more cards, they don't have the mana to play more cards. And I also get more cards, but I do have the mana to play more cards. So actually, I just I just think this is just better for me. I knew you. Let's light it up. And of course, Stormfist Crusader does a, lot, a good amount of damage too. All right, well, that just puts themselves dead on board. And GG. All right, Rakdos Spirit. Ooh, cast 20 white or green spells? I am not getting that one today. <laughs> uh, I'm not playing any green decks. Mardu Enchantments. Uh, we don't, I guess that is a most, I guess white is the predominant color in the Mardu enchantment deck. So, okay, maybe I will get that one. How common is it to get stuck at checking for updates when starting the client? I don't, I don't know. Basically, for, on my computer, it never does updates on that. I have to just Google search, you know, Magic Arena click the thing that the first link that comes up that says download now. I have to do that every single time there's an update and then just re-download a new one. So I I do that all the time. So maybe you want to do that. I'm not sure. Bearded Butte. Thanks for that tier one sub. Staying on that. Thank you so much there, Bearded Butte. And that's sub number four on the day. Hmm. Am I launching it through the arena launcher? I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Gosh, I just got three of my four shock lands for my lands. Ugh. I don't know. I just use the desk, the desk top shortcut that I have. Well, this is not a good time to draw Theater of Horrors number two and number three. Those are two really bad draws against Questing Beast here. Hey, what's up, Storm? You're a little...
Yeah, this is just all kind of rough for us with just mono blood crypt. So I need to. With the arcbow at my side, I can't lose a fight. I mean, I kind of need my Stormfist Crusader to die, to be honest. I can't really keep taking one damage. Hmm. This could be rough. I'll return with larger predators. Oh, come on. There's like one other green haste creature in the format <laughs> besides Questing Beast. Ceratops. Oh, yeah, we're not playing Brawl, so I guess they, they could easily just add another. That's right, they have four of the stuff. All right, those Shocklands really did, did us in. We had to take so much damage from him. And yeah, we we already had the one theater fours drawing the second one and the third one whenever you're behind. That was that was really bad too. Yeah, it sure is storm. Yep. Yep. So haste is supposed to be red. Why does green get the option? I don't know. I guess it's it's like a lot of those those keywords have like a, a main color and then like a secondary color. And I guess I guess green is like the secondary color for haste. Green's kind of the secondary color for everything except for discard. Hey, Dark Claw. Why does that thing have to have hexproof? These green decks, though, like these, you know, like these green stompy decks, they have consistently had turn one Pelt Collector against me. We played against them yesterday, and it was just always turn one Pelt Collector. I think that's, I think this is around five, five-ish straight games that we've seen turn one Pelt Collector. There's a land there. I 
I was honestly, I was honestly kind of planning on blocking there. Stop. This is why I took out a murderous rider and replaced it with a bedevil. Like our life total is always kind of low. Um, I kind of feel like playing Stormfist Crusader is not good for me. In this scenario. I feel like I, I have like the you know, the multiple cards already going. Oh, that's pretty big getting that hit in there. Alright, so I'm going to play this Blood Crypt, and we'll get a Bone Crusher Giant out of here. Not keeping Bedevil up for a potential like Hellkite, or whatever that thing's called these days. Yay! GG. All right, so we got our revenge against the Stompy deck. Always has Pelt Collector on one and Questing Beast when they have four mana. It's a requirement to have those two cards. <laughs> but thankfully, they they drew a few more lands this time. So I'm not I'm not completely sold on this card yet for this deck. Honestly, this is the the one card that. I'm not sure if it could be something better. It looks really cool. And we have so many cheap spells in here, you know, like we have so much like cheap removal and everything. And so I was thinking, all right, I'm probably going to Pyra Helix here. So even though we have the Carnival, I'm going to just get this thing in play. Hey, Guru. Yeah, we finally drew a Spirit. There we go. Even though we'd rather have the Spirit against the green deck, not the, the red deck where everything's going to die anyway. Um, so I guess they're just going to play Slang Fire. Maybe they'll Slang Fire that thing and not Slang Fire me. Cool. I'll play that to gain four life. Land? Yeah. All right, keep going, theater. Ugh. Robber of the Rich is rough. Oh, come on. You got a theater? All right. Well, we got to kill that thing. Hmm.
but did not use my mana very well. I mean, well, well, I mean, I guess what I meant to say is, you know, double spell in there. It's kind of better maybe just to bedevil, but it's a lot of damage that they have potentially there. This theater hasn't really helped us. I really need more mana. I mean, I guess it's kind of helped us because it's cleared off two cards that were not lands. Off the top. But, I mean, I guess it has it. Like, that, that turn playing theater, if I would have just held up removal spells, um, that would have been a whole lot better. You know, like, we would I would have saved so much damage and been a lot closer to winning this game if I would have just held up removal spells. Like, that turn playing theater is probably going to cost me this. I can still only single spell. It's just been such an awkward game. If only, like, even if this carnival was in my hand, I could cast carnival and then trigger theater to be able to cast the shock. Like, if those two were to switch, I'd be able to play both of those. Um, An awkward game there. Hey, Suma Bear, good afternoon. I don't I don't think we need Footlight Fiend. We, we already have a lot of stuff against one toughness creatures with having the pyro helixes and carnival carnages. It's usually nothing that I'm worried about, but. You know. We're 2 0 on the play, 0 2 on the draw. Oh no, we're on the draw. Huh. All right, well, I'm not counting that. Your kingdom from mill to stop existing? Oh, uh, you don't like a, a good mill deck? It's basically... I think the reason why people like myself like mill is because it's a strategy that basically that that's usually not very good and and there's there's only a you know it's it's something that like pops up every now and again but it's something that is most likely not going to be very good and so like anytime that it actually does is good or works or anything it's kind of refreshing All right, so playing against control is where all these little removal spells aren't as good. That's okay. So I want to play, I'm getting this thing in play. I want to play this other Crusader. But then it's kind of bad against a Sweeper. 
that's fine. I'm gonna need a Crusader in play. Man, Doom Foretold's really good. I could keep playing permanents out here. That probably doesn't end that well for me. Yeah, basically my options either Carnage or play Pestilent Spirit. Like those are my two options. We'll go Carnage. So down to 10. My upkeep, they'll be down to nine, but then they're going to gain two life. Yeah, Pestilent Spirit doesn't really matter in this matchup, so that's why I was thinking maybe just playing the Pestilent Spirit so they, to give, you know, to, you know, just give another thing to sacrifice, basically. Really hope they don't have another Doom Foretold. That card's incredibly good. Well, that was a disaster. That's not as bad for me. I'd rather them have that than have Doom Foretold. Pestilent Spirit! Get him. Get him. That was awesome. We did it. Unfortunately, I can't stop enchantments. I can't really stop dance with the mance. Um, kind of hoping I hit a land to be able to play theater also. What? My hair is on fire? <laughs> I know. This is just going to be bad for you. Darn. If this is just normal like Esper Control, I would, I would, you know, be, I would be more confident in our way to win this, but Dance is really tough. I guess maybe that's why I should have kept the other Spirit to give me ways to kill 4-4s. Four Alright, let's Card's really powerful. That's a matchup where we need our sideboard for sure. You know, get a bunch of discard and discard and Ashiox and stuff like that.
But even though we're only two and three, it's still just a fun deck to play. Hmm. I guess I'm playing Theater of Horrors on turn. I'll just play this. No, Leyline of the Void's not worth crafting. No. My Theater of Horrors. Maybe they won't find it. Can't take it. Too fast. Won't be able to click it. Can't find it. Oh, they're struggling. Ah, they grabbed it? Wow, they got lucky. So when their timer would run out. <laughs> Just imagine somebody doing that in favor magic. I know, right? That'd be awesome. So they think Fey of it's worth it just to use Fey of Wishes for four life? Huh. I know, All right. I know. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Lame. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. <sighs> All right, possible Chandra ult. Uh, they drew the fifth land. I mean, they have Nicol Bolas now. They're looking. At least glad they threw away the other Fae of Wishes. You know, they they could have had Fae of Wishes and grabbed and grabbed an answer for sure with that. RMW Waffle. Thank you so much there, Waffle. Okay, so we have Chandra Ult. I don't have I don't have a lot of mana. I mean it's definitely just worth it doing this though. Okay, so they're at seven. And then attack, shock, shock. Yay. Easy peasy. Games are so fast.
Yep. Yep, they can't play anything because of fire's invention, so we don't have to even worry about anything. So. Ooh, we get to be on the play? That's good. Alright, let's see if Stormfist Crusader is any good. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. I'm glad we took out a land and replaced that with Angrass Rampage, though. Imagine if this was just another land. That would look pretty bad. So do I kill the Paradise Druid or play another Crusader? The problem with killing the Paradise Druid is then maybe I don't have removal for other Planeswalkers. that could come, like, you know, like an Oko next turn. But they also have Forest Forest. Y'all are saying Bolt the Bird. Yeah, isn't it better to Bolt the Oko? It's a tough call. I'm going to get this thing in play. If I had another Planeswalker removal spell, I would cast the Rampage there. Hmm. I guess maybe they're just mono green. Looks like it's just mono green stompy. They got Veil Summers. Why do so we have three rider, three bedevil, and it seems like every t every time my opponent's playing questing beast, we draw a rider, not bedevil. Yeah, that's that was the card. I was like, I was like, oh man, whenever they're playing that pal collector, I was like, ooh, what if I draw pyro helix? We did it. That's a good one. All right, so now Theater of Horrors or Riding Clean? Probably Theater. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Good old Chandra's Pyro Helix. So underrated. All right, they got five cards left. All right, looks like they're trying to troll me over here. All right, get rid of a couple of those cards. See, Carnage pairs well with the Stormfist Crusader, because then they draw like the extra card, and then see so you have they have the extra cards for you for, uh, for you to make them discard. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Why would you even call Null Hide Ferox Storm? Uh. Well, they had they had two extra lands over there. Oh, they should have cast this first, see if they hit Null Hide. It's always that card. <laughs> Give them the illusion to draw cards, and you make them discard them. It's a good plan. Hmm. So if I shock them, I get to Bedevil and Rider, or I can just activate Theater and Bedevil and keep the shock. So it's basically, do I want to waste the shock to get Rider in play? It's probably worth that. I have, I have enough, like, uses for mana and everything. So it's probably good to get this 2-3 in play. Seriously? Why? Yeah, I know, right? Bedevil not having a card style is lame. Ooh, this could kill them. Chandra here. It's my turn. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. And it did. I was thinking like the Chandra damage could kill them, but that also works. All right, so that's only been 43 minutes. So far, I so said that we usually do. <laughs> Holy crap, Chandra, I love you. Um, usually just do seven with the best of ones, but this this one didn't take very long. Let's let's play another one. This is just a fun deck to play too. <laughs> oh, questing beast isn't optional. Oh, so it would have hit Chandra, so it's not optional. So. Yeah, Chandra's pretty good against Questing Beast then. Mm, I don't I don't like mulliganing. Gross. Yeah, for the uh, Mardu enchantment list, you can find it there. <laughs> I'm glad that you could help the opponent with their not being on fire problem. Uh I'm not going to go to five. We're going to just hopefully draw red mana. We need red mana anyway. Shouldn't have played one more. Shouldn't have played one more. Red land. Close. So I can bedevil and destroy this oven. Or I could go Spirit Shock Devil. 
then they may kill devil in response or they'll, they'll kill spirit in response though that, that won't work um do i just bedevil the devil Uh, spirit shock won't work. Yeah. Just gotta kill this thing. We need more red mana. Love to be able to do that and shock Judith. That would have been really nice. That's lame. That can't be our last game. Super lame. Didn't even get to play Magic there. Okay. We got our two colors. Here we go. Hey, Zoltan. Um, we've we've only played against one black red sacrifice. The statement was: is every deck either Oko or black red sacrifice? We haven't played against that many Yokos. It's, it's been less than half who we've played against so far. Um, Pyrohelix just uses two mana instead of using one mana. So I guess I'm going to use it. I'm probably not killing two things with it. But maybe I am. Yeah, we saw Esper dance earlier. No, we're definitely playing this game of Magic. Just because my opponent's going to counter some spells doesn't mean that we're not playing. I don't really see... See, a lot of people really don't like counter spells, but I don't really see a difference between your spell getting countered and them letting it resolve and using a removal spell on it. It's, like, it's the same thing as long as it's trading one for one. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. Death touch. Oh, that's so good. What's the opponent going to do now? They're dead. This thing has menace. I don't even have to worry about it getting blocked. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, we had to get we had to get Pestle and Spirit to shine one of these games. Um, let's see, I guess I got I got three removal spells. Kind of wanted to play something. 
Start getting cards out of my hand. Yay, land. Yeah, no, removing is not always. I'm just saying when when re when a removal spell is a one for one, it's not it's not any different. Countering is also not always one for one with cast triggers and stuff. We got three cards in hand. Lame. All right, Pestilent Spirit. Pestilent Spirit, getting it done. <laughs> that is awesome. We got to do it. Rakdos Spear. What a cool deck. So I didn't... So when 5-3, I didn't count... I didn't count that loss that we didn't get to play Magic as our mana base, but I also didn't count a win where my opponent just didn't do anything. Like where they they conceded on like turn 2. So like those 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 games just weren't really games of Magic. So I don't really keep count of those. Um, <clears throat> so five and three. Um, still, you know, not sure about the Stormfist Crusader, but there's times where it looks really good, but times where it doesn't look so good. You know, it's not really a great card to draw later on. Um, but turn two, some of those times, um, because we have we have so many cheap spells, you know, like, as you see here, like this curve is not really exact what we have. Um, because, you know, it says that we have four, five drops, but those are really all one drops. And then four of these three drops are really two drops with Bone Crusher Giant really being a two drop. So, um, so yeah, usually we get to unload our hand and everything there. Um, if Esper Dance, if Esper Dance really does keep picking up, you know, like I would, I'd be playing some Ashiox in the sideboard over here, um, Elder Spell, and and Grass Rampage. Like these, these two cards um, are cards that could trim down, and also Liliana's. Liliana's in there for like, you know, like slow control decks, like big mid range decks, and everything like that. But if people are just playing Esper Dance instead of Liliana, and like basically like these, these could be Ashiox and like one of the Elder Spells. Like that could just be like three Ashiox right there, um, and that would be good. Um, but then, of course, the control matchups, being able to, to bring in four drill bit is really important. Um, can, can even go more duress and everything as well. Yeah, Cosmotronic Wave. I thought about thought about that. But the thing is, is like Cosmotronic Wave, uh, if, if you don't know, know that card, it's basically four mana, do one damage to all your opponents. 
creatures. Um, so it's it's amazing with Pestilent Spirit because it's just it's just a one sided sweeper with Pestilent Spirit. But the thing is, I've I've tried playing that with Pestilent Spirit before, but there's just so many times that you draw across Cosmotronic Wave and you don't have Pestilent Spirit and you're just looking at like this blank cardboard that's not doing anything. Um, and so that's why I don't have it in here, basically. All right, so Rakdos Spirit, a uh, good way to start the day off today. This is a fun deck to play. Also just a, a pretty decent best of three deck there as well for those for those of y'all that like best of three, which I assume is most of y'all. But, you know, we're doing the one day a week of best of one because we've gotten some uh, good feedback on that. Yeah, definitely just a really cool deck. Uh, for those of you, if you don't want to use the... I guess if you don't want to use the wild cards on spirit, you, you can basically, I think you can make this without pestilence spirit. Honestly, the, the pirate helixes and the carnivals like usually just kill stuff for the most part, especially in best of one. They're honestly pretty good. And theater four is just awesome. It's like, this could be made without pestilence spirit where we just play something else. I don't know exactly what, um, but just, you know, like maybe more removal, maybe honestly, maybe like replacing it with like drill bit. Um, it kind of, not having it does kind of take down your threat count. But, um, yeah, maybe you just play, like, another another four mana Chandra, some drill bits, stuff like that. You know, play some of these cards over here instead if, if you don't want to craft Pestilent Spirit. Um, or, you know, if you have something else in your collection you want to play, you know, feel free to do that. Um Let's see. I think I think that's it. I think that's all, that's all I got here. All right. So that's Rakdos Spirit. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like button over there. And also leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and all that kind of stuff. And I hope you check out the other videos that we're going to have here in a little bit. We've got a lot of fun at decks today. I'm excited about playing at Magic today. But that's it here for Rakdos Spirit. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.